I believe everyone loves to have bright white teeth, but possibly many of you might be a bit hesitant to undergo any teeth whitening procedure or any other dental treatment to improve the color of your teeth. What if you can prevent your teeth from getting discolored in the first place itself? Hi everyone, welcome back to Meet Your Teeth. My name is Mavish, I am a dental professional and today I'll be sharing a few amazing tips that will help you maintain the whiteness of your teeth and prevent it from getting discolored. In my daily practice, I see so many patients asking me if they can do something to have whiter teeth or just to maintain the whiteness or the color of the teeth. So keep watching as I am about to disclose some really simple tips that will make a huge difference. But don't you think to deal with something, it is important to know how does it happen or why does it happen? Have you ever noticed older people tend to have more yellowish or brownish teeth? Did you ever wonder why? Our teeth is made up of three main layers. The topmost protective layer is called as enamel which is usually white in color and underneath is dentin which is slightly yellowish in color and the innermost layer is pulp which contains all the nerve and blood supply. So as we grow older, the enamel of the teeth gradually wears off, exposing dentine which is darker in color. That's why as we age, the teeth naturally get discolored. So although discoloration of the teeth could be an age related process, but there are few things that can drastically worsen the color of your teeth. So how we can prevent this from happening? Basically, anything you do to strengthen the enamel of the teeth will help you keep your teeth bright and white. Alright, so let's get started. Tip number one is to prevent the staining of the teeth before it happens. Limit the teeth staining culprits, reducing the consumption of strong colored food and drinks such as tea, coffee, on berries, red wine or soda, fruit juices such as uh, pomegranate and blueberry are famous to cause staining of the teeth. Okay, this doesn't mean that you have to completely avoid them, but you can try to reduce the amount of time these things are in contact with your teeth, such as by using a straw, so, so that the drinks are in minimal contact with your teeth and this reduces the staining of your teeth. Rinsing your mouth with water afterwards helps a lot. Um, trust me, next time when you have a strong colored drink, please rinse your mouth with water and check for yourself how much stain will be washed away. So if you don't rinse it, that stain over time will get absorbed on your teeth. Brushing also helps, but do not brush immediately as it can cause wearing away of your teeth. So wait for at least 30 minutes to one hour after you have any food or drink. I'll tell you in few moments why does this happen. Tip number two, avoid tobacco or smoking. Smoking is one of the leading reasons for the discoloration of the teeth and it's not good for your general health as well. Well, I can understand it's not easy, but smoking is not only uh, causing discoloration of the teeth and bad breath, but it will also affect the healing process and it makes you more prone for any gum disease, eventually leading to tooth loss and also mouth cancer. Studies have shown that drinkers and smokers are at an increased risk of developing mouth cancer than people who neither smoke or drink. After all, health is wealth, isn't it? Tip number three, limit your sugar intake. Increased sugars means increased risk of decay. Anything that damages enamel can cause discoloration. Remember I had explained to you previously how the bugs in the mouth will convert these sugars into acids and the acid will ultimately damage the tooth? So if you want whiter teeth, cut back on your sugar intake, reduce the frequency, plan a cheat day or save sweets for special occasions. 
Many processed food also have sugars in them. So always look for the uh, amount of sugar present in the product when you are buying the groceries. And uh, there are also hidden sugars. That is, you may not even realize that a uh, few foodstuffs contain a lot of sugars, even though they do not uh, actually taste sweet, such as ketchup or baked beans or pasta sauces. And avoid having any sticky foods, such as a um, lot of uh, dried foods, like raisins, dates, because um, they tend to cling on your teeth for a longer time. So these can lead to cavities. And even if you want to eat it, have it with your meal instead of in between meal. And avoid in between meal snacks because even your teeth need some rest from the acid attack. Chewing sugar free gums also helps uh, to stimulate saliva in the mouth. So it helps uh, reverse the acid attack and healthy alternatives um, such as fruits and vegetables or, or nuts are better for your health and you know reducing sugars also have wider benefits it prevents weight gain heart diseases diabetes just to name a few tip number four reduce the consumption of acidic food and drinks Stuff like citrus fruits, fruit juices, fizzy drinks, alcohol, smoothies are highly acidic in nature. So on the long run, this is not good for the health of your teeth. Diet rich in acidic food and drinks can lead to wearing away of the enamel, exposing dentin, ultimately causing discoloration, sensitivity and even pain. Obviously, it is not possible to completely stop these drinks in your diet but you can neutralize the acid effect by having milk, cheese and water. Apart from this, do not swish acidic drinks in your mouth because the longer it is in contact, the more damage it can do. And also using a straw will um, help uh, to reduce the acid attack on the teeth. Make sure not to brush immediately after consuming any acidic food or drinks because brushing right away can progressively lead to wearing away of your teeth. Give a gap of at least 30 minutes to one hour because every time you eat or drink, the enamel on your teeth becomes softer for a short while and loses some of its mineral content. So waiting for an hour or so will allow your saliva to slowly restore it to its natural balance. Number 5. Fight against plaque. Many a times you must have noticed yellowish tint on the teeth. It is largely because of the result of plaque buildup, which is nothing but a thin sticky film of bugs that constantly forms on the teeth. Plaque is responsible for majority of all the dental problems like decay, gum inflammation leading to bleeding gums, swelling, soreness and if it is not taken care then it can also lead to tooth loss. And if plaque is not removed regularly, then it will harden to form tartar. This can only be removed by professional cleaning. That's why regular cleanings can also help your teeth stay healthy and white. And on your part, you can make sure that you brush your teeth twice every day using a fluoridated toothpaste and also use uh, floss or interdental brushes to clean in between your teeth to keep your teeth white and reduce the amount of plaque buildup. Um, using an electric toothbrush may also be more effective than a manual one and I have personally seen the difference for myself so I definitely recommend everyone to use an electric toothbrush instead of a manual one. It is important to note that if at all you are using any chlorhexidine mouthwash, please do not use it for more than two weeks because it can cause discoloration of your teeth. Although it is good for the health of your gums, it is antibacterial, but on a long run, it can lead to discoloration. So avoid using it for more than two weeks. Usually the discoloration is extrinsic that is present on the outside of the teeth. So it can be easily prevented by these tips, but sometimes it could be intrinsic that is present within the teeth. Example in childhood illness or antibiotics taken during childhood such as tetracycline induced staining or infections, injury um, when the teeth was forming or 
pulpal damage, infections or even excess fluoride can lead to discoloration. So in such scenario, you may need other interventions such as whitening treatment or tooth curd fillings can be applied on the teeth or crowns. So please visit your dentist to find out the most suitable option for you. That's it for today. We'll be back next time with another interesting topic. To know more about your dental health and to maintain healthy teeth for life, please subscribe to Meet Your Teeth. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and do let us know if you want to hear on any particular topic. Thanks for watching.